Hi everyone, uh, I am Madam Rosmaya. I am a pre U physics teacher at SMJK Yuhua. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, in this video, uh, we are going to discuss on gravitational field strength. We are all familiar with the magnetic field of a bar magnet. The field lines show up as areas of attraction and repulsion at the poles and the concentration of field lines at any point. The closer we are to the magnet, the stronger the lines of force. We can do a similar exercise with a gravity field, only this time there are attractive forces involved and no repulsive forces. The Earth, in common with many other planets, is very nearly a perfect sphere. Its gravity field is radial and uh, with the pull uh, being directly towards the center. The closer in we get, the stronger the pull. At point far from the Earth, the field lines are changing their separation as the gravitational field strength G changes. Near the surface of the Earth, the value of the gravitational field G is sensibly constant with the height as long as these changes of height is not too great. The concentration of gravitational field lines is an indication of the gravitational field strength at any point, which is formally defined as the gravitational force per unit mass at that point. So, we can write that statement as G equals to gravitational force per mass or F per M. The unit is newtons per kilogram. You will, you will have met the expression F per M in the context of A equals to F per M. So, it doesn't take a genius to see that gravitational field strength is the same thing as acceleration. A gravitational field strength of 9.81 newton per kilogram causes an acceleration of 9.81 meter per second per second. From the gravitational force equation, F equals to negative G uh, M M per R squared. So G equals to F per M. So we substitute the uh, gravitational force into the equation. So we have G M M per R squared times 1 per m. So we can cancel out this m. So we get g gravitational field strength equals to uh, negative g m per r squared. So this m, this m is m of the planet and the g is the gravitational constant. So from this equation, uh, we can say that g is uh, inversely proportional to the r squared. From the equation, uh, we can sketch a graph G against R. So we get uh, R is a curve, uh, uh, increase, decreasing curve. So at the point uh, on the surface of the Earth, uh, which is the radius of the Earth is equals to R, the value of uh, G is equals to Gm per R squared. So we substitute the radius of the Earth, capital letter R, into R, small letter here. So this is the G value on the surface of the Earth. Above the surface of the Earth, where uh, the R is bigger than the radius of the Earth, is given by the uh, this curve. So we've done uh, discussing on uh, ele uh, gravitational field strength above the surface of the earth. Next, we are going to discuss uh, the gravitational field strength uh, between the center and the surface of the earth. So imagine the uh, object uh, is, uh, uh, we put the object uh, on the inside the earth okay at this position so imagine this is the earth with mass m so the object here uh, is put on the new surface 
So the new surface here form a spherical shape of new uh, mass we call as uh, M prime. So the mass is equals to rho v. Rho is the density uh, and v is the volume. So the volume uh, is equal uh, the for a spherical shape. The volume is given by the four per three pi r cube. So for uh, m prime, and the small spherical shape is equals to the four per three pi r cube times the density rho. And for the uh, full shape of Earth, spherical shape, the m equals to 4 per 3 pi r capital letter cube times the density of the uh, the planet. So this is our radius of the planet. In this case, we discuss the Earth. Okay, next from the equation of the gravitational force equals to g m1 m2 per r squared so uh, the m here m1 is uh, the m prime eh, for the smaller spherical shape where the object uh, is on the surface and the m2 is the uh, m uh, mass of the uh, object so we substitute into the equation we get this and then the f equals to mg prime where the g prime uh, direction is uh, towards the center of the new spherical uh, shape so we cancel the m we get g prime equals to g m prime per r squared then we substitute this m prime for the new spherical mass into the equation here we get uh, g per r squared, 4 per 3 pi r cube, rho. And we can rewrite as 4 per 3 pi g r rho. So the same thing goes here. Uh, we use uh, mg equals to g m m per r squared. So this is the uh, original uh, spherical shape of the planet. So equals to mg uh, equals to g m per m mm per r squared so cancel out the m so we get g equals to g m per r squared then we substitute this value of m into the equation here then we can rewrite uh, the g uh, this is g on the surface of the planet uh, 4 per 3 pi g r capital letter r rho radius of the uh, planet this is the G prime, G uh, inside the planet. 4 per 3 pi G rho, uh, G r rho. Then from these two equation, uh, we can use ratio uh, G prime per G. Then we can cancel out 4 per 3 pi G and, uh, and also rho. So uh, the equation becomes uh, R per capital letter R and cross multiply we get G prime equals to R per uh, radius of the earth times the G so G is constant and R also constant so therefore G prime is uh, directly proportional to R so inside the uh, planet the gravitational field strength is directly proportional to R so we can sketch the graph G against R as a straight line because directly proportional. So this is at the surface, uh, Earth's surface. So combine the two uh, equation, we get uh, the shape of the graph uh, by. Uh, so we. We just take the magnitude of the G, gravitational field strength. So, on the above of the surface of the planet, the G prime is inversely proportional to R squared given by this curve. Whereas, inside the uh, planet, 
uh, the gravitational field is directly proportional to r so the shape is a straight line and on the exactly on the surface of the earth the g is given by g uh, m per r squared so capital letter r is a radius of the earth so we've done discussing for uh, variation g with r and uh, the next video we are going to discuss the variation of g for the actual shape of the planet uh, example earth if the planet is an ellipse shape okay that's all uh, for my video uh, if you like uh, my video uh, please uh, subscribe uh, and thank you for watching